Hello everyone and welcome back to GTA Online with me, Long Clover, Larry and Steel, where we always deliver. Well, this pretty much sums up most people's GTA experience in GTA Online right now. The game is in need of a serious jumpstart, not because Rockstar hasn't delivered, it has. The Kai Perico Heist is the most awesome DLC update they've ever given us. It makes it so easy to earn money, but unless you're a new player, you don't really need more money. What you need is more stuff to spend your money on. This week, Rockstar announced some massive news. The upcoming expanded and enhanced versions of GTA 5 and GTA Online are coming to PS5 and Xbox X and S next-gen consoles on November 11th. So let's have a look at what they say and what I think this all means and how this will affect our GTA 6 roadmap. Check out the channel for more content and let's get into it and see what's going on. So let's see what they actually say. New updates to GTA Online and Red Dead Online. Hmm. So before we get to November in 2021, this year we're going to see an assortment of new updates to both GTA and Red Dead throughout May and in the summer months. And we're talking about Rockstar adding some of the most frequently fan requested additions to the game along with a host of new items too. They also mention quality of life updates. Now remember we're talking about both GTA and Red Dead at this point but what this usually means is properties, vehicles, clothes, way to improve your character's quality of life where he or she lives and what car they can drive and how they're able to store these vehicles. And that might mean mansion properties for GTA and better apartments. This is very exciting. For GTA, they're really focusing on car culture. There'll be performance and customization upgrades. And they mentioned bringing more neutral areas where you can hold car meets without interference from the police or stupid little griefers. They also go on to mention new additions to races and catering for the demand for stolen vehicles. Crews can hit the streets to get hold of the latest vehicles on the hot list and take part in a series of multi-part robbery missions where a precisely modified vehicle will be your best weapon. All this is happening later in the summer. So we know that car mods are popular, Rockstar are catering for this demand and this is really exciting too as it's got me buzzing thinking about my garage space and I hope the new quality of life upgrade includes a Bruce Wayne style underground storage facility, wouldn't that be cool? Let's continue. To help get ready for the summer update in GTA, 8 new stunt races, hmm, boring. Alright, so around the corner there are going to be some new stunt races coming May 27th. Now this doesn't really interest me because as a money grinder, stunt races are a bit of a waste of time for me. Shortly thereafter, the Deadline Adversary series is going to get seven new arenas, which is cool if you're into Adversary, and Deadline is very cool, but again, it doesn't pay well, so unless all of this is going to get a nice buffing to make it worthwhile, this won't hold my attention. The survival mode will expand into new locations as well, and this will be fun, but it's again grossly underpaid so the same thing applies let's talk about the and much more statement you see the expanded versions of both gta 5 and gta online are coming later in the year in november rockstar go on to say that there will be added bonuses for players who take advantage of these expanded enhanced versions when they drop plus in honor of the 20th anniversary of gta 3 there's going to be even more surprises to share including some specifically designed for gta players so maybe we're going to see stuff from gta 3 clothing music and stuff like that start appearing in gta online okay but this is an older game Rockstar are understandably bragging hard about the latest sales numbers, reporting that GTA 5 has sold more than 145 million units. That's 5 million units in the last 3 months. With this in mind, they're not going to be in any rush to push out GTA 6, and exactly why GTA is getting lots of tweaks and buffs. 
I firmly believe Rockstar listen to their players, but while they're indeed a business and need to make money, they are interested in keeping the game afire. Obviously, it's all about GTA 6, though. With that in their roadmap and all their decisions about what happens in GTA 5 prior to GTA 6 being released, they're going to be made with all of this in mind. So, in summary, there's some very interesting stuff happening in GTA Online and lots of little updates to be added over the course of the year and then again at the end of the year, starting with a stunt series in May, and then a summer update with lots of car mods and maybe quality of life stuff and then later in the year we're going to see the expanded and enhanced version out so i find this very interesting let me know what you think about all of this in the comments and i'll be back with another video very soon take care stay safe